Kenyans are making their voice hard, loud and clear. They're protesting against corruption, triggered by a scandal involving a government agency. $90 million is missing from the National Youth Service, which was set up to help the young unemployed by providing training. Dozens of people, including senior officials at the agency, are being investigated. Some have been charged. Allegations include payments for dubious supplies, inflated costs, and payouts for services that were never delivered in the first place. Emmanuel Baraza gave up his business day to join the protest. Life has become very difficult. I carry passengers on my motorcycle. I work so hard for so little. Yet all we hear is corruption involving billions. President Uhuru Kenyatta has said all the money will be recovered and that those found guilty will be held to account. But many on this march say that previous such scandals have never been properly dealt with. There aren't many protesters here, but their frustration is felt by most Kenyans who want the government to do more in its fight against corruption. They say that more people should be going to prison, their assets frozen, and that all the stolen money should be returned. It's not the first time the National Youth Service has been at the center of a corruption case. In 2015, almost $8 million was stolen in a similar way. There were about 24 people who were taken to court, and only one was found to have a case to answer. So 23 of them walked away scot-free. Um, if you look at their positioning, even within the hierarchy of uh, the ministry, the parent ministry and NYS itself, so the fairly junior officer. Um, it's unlikely that you can pull off such a scandal alone. These protesters say they're tired of having their money stolen. They marched to the high court with the police keeping their distance. For a few tense minutes, they blocked a convoy carrying the chief justice, calling for quick trials. They finally ended up at the gates of parliament. <laughs> This is just one of many anti-corruption rallies that have been held in recent years. Those taking part hope those in power will finally start listening. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nairobi, Kenya.